This topic is on unique items. Unique items are items that are needed in an estimate but cannot be found in the database. For example, the screen you're looking at shows assemblies, individual items that I've all added in from the database. In this example, I'm going to show you that we're going to be looking for a reception center, um, something I want to have in my estimate. Um, so first of all, I've searched the entire database and I don't have anything for a reception center. Um, a couple options I have, I'm going to close this. The first one is, this is how we make a unique item. So we click on unique. It's just like editing an item in the database, except that this is in the estimate only. I have a couple options. I can do a quick and dirty unique item. So I could have, for example, materials. I don't really need a formula. I don't need a code. I could put in just the cost of it. Um, so for example, I might have $1,000. The formula, don't need to put in a formula. Um, some people actually use their unique items like this. They have one basically lump sum of $1,000. The problem is it will show up in the most of the filters as unassigned because a lot of the filters sort by, for example, division code or major code or minor code. So you can see down here it's unassigned. Now a lot of people do like to do that and they do it for the very reason that it's unassigned. Um, that way they can quickly identify unique items. Probably the best practice though is to copy from an item in the database. So if you click on unique and you click copy from and you would copy from a place in the database that would have the codes you would expect on it. So for example, you might have um, manufactured casework here. If I copy from this item, it's going to have the CSI headings 12,300. It'll probably have the master format headings, which are the four level headings, also the 12,300, and job cost codes and everything else that comes with it. So I'm going to click copy from. I'm then going to change everything in here. So I've got custom reception center. Notice I've got the formula on here. I can still put in my material price. Let's put in a large price so that it stands out. I add this into my estimate. And this will show up under division 12,000, as you can see here. Or if I'm in the takeoff view at the very bottom of the estimate. So I'm going to put in one lump sum. You can see it's got the million dollars on it. There is a column that you can put in here called item is unique. and it will be flagged as unique. This is very important to our government contractors. Many of them are required to use RS means data for their estimates and anything that is not in the RS means database they need to make as what they call a non-pre-priced item, which is a unique item and they like to have it flagged as item is unique. So that's unique items in a nutshell.